Hello everyone, my name is General Fancy Pants, and welcome back to Memoria. When we last left off, we helped Neri fix her broken wing, and now we are going to go see Fahi, I believe. It looks like there's some things we can interact with here first. Let's take a look at this rubble. Neri's old cave is under there. When her fairy body was destroyed, the cave collapsed as well. Do you miss your old home? <sighs> I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. This is where we met for the first time. You were trying to catch me like a bird. How was I to know you'd be so big and so stubborn? You're a fine one to talk. <laughs> You're right. Even if we don't have a whole lot in common, we can certainly agree on that. <laughs> Very true. I like how they've got, like, grown as friends and how they interact now. They seem to have a little more... respect for each other. Do you miss your old home? <sighs> I don't... Not respect, I guess, but... Well, I mean, yeah, respect, but it just seems like they've really... It's interesting how they've shown growth between the first game and this game. Who are those people? These statues scare me. They look like the pillars from Fai's tail, only with faces. Yes, hey there, what's going on? <sighs> Brider, I can't work like this. Master Bodia, this man is disturbing my investigation. Talk to him, send him away. I have no time for this sort of thing. I'm sorry, but the School of Arcane Combat of Andergast has closed off this area until further notice. You should go home. What happened here? A mob from the city wanted to chase a traveling merchant out of the country. And this is what became of them. Ta-da! Ancient Tulumid pillars with an Andergastrian core. No trace of the merchant. He disappeared? Yep, now shoo. Otherwise the same thing might happen to you too. Interesting. Everything's cursed. Fahi was our best chance to heal you. But isn't he evil? Didn't he petrify those people? Nuri, that was an Andergastrian lynch mob. Had I been able, I would have turned them into stone too. He must have left a trace around here somewhere. I'd better find it before the mages from the School of Arcane Combat do. Otherwise, we'll be right back where we started. Okay, so it's very interesting that these statues look exactly like, except with the exception of the arms and the faces, but like just the pillar themselves is exactly like the ones in Saja's tail. How many attackers were there? And it's interesting that they look like this. So I wonder, I'm starting to think of some things here about why, what might be going on right now. So. If Fahi had been around back in Saja's time. Let's take a look at the bag. Looks like the knapsack of a wanderer or a hunter, not like the bag of a serious mage. Watch it, lad. I've got sharp eyes. Alright. There's a hammer peeking out of the bag. Take your paws off my hammer. Alright, Ulrich is his name. He's holding a small shell against the petrified woman. I wonder if he thinks he can talk to her that way. It doesn't look like she's going to answer. From what direction did the attack come? Are you asking me? Oh, he's still here. Brider, I expect more martial severity. <laughs> See to it that he goes away. I can't understand a word this way. Beat it. All right. All right, so let's go around the clearing and see what's on the other side of all of this. All this stuff here. But first, I have to find out what happened to Fire. The spirit must have been petrified as well. Okay. Okay, for this Brida, we have a barrier. Another barrier. Hey, that rope is there for a reason. I've seen her in the market a few times. The School of Arcane Combat hasn't been accepting women into their ranks for long. Let's 
see if we can talk to her. Hey, is there any trace How of the merchant? How many attackers Indeed, there were there? Is. He's carrying a double consumer, which he uses to slice up every little pain in the neck that comes along. What? How do you know that? I can see it. He's standing behind you, grinning. No, we still don't know anything. Now please go away. Otherwise I'll be in even more trouble. Okay. I hope that that guy doesn't keep talking during my interactions with other people, because... From what direction did the attack come? Alright, so we need to basically distract... Uh... The mage. The pillar. It has the face of the butcher woman from the market. What happened here? Hey, anybody in there? She can't hear a thing. And if you keep yelling like that, neither can I. So, please. So I wonder if we can distract her using Neri. Or him, I mean. Maybe Neri can quote-unquote speak for this woman. Psst! Nori, can you do me a favor? Distract the mage. Hop behind the statue and talk to him. He'll think you're the petrified woman. Shall I tell him about King Chestnut and the turnip ghosts? No, just answer his questions. What questions? And what should I say? Listen, how many attackers were there? Ooh, uh... Let's say countless. Say you were overrun. What did the mage look like? Black cloak. He wore a cloak. How do you know all that? I don't know anything. I'm just guessing. From what direction did the attack come? Let's say from behind. You were ambushed. It came from behind. And in what direction did they depart? Into the forest. Into the forest. Can you remember all that? Yes, that's easy. That's funny. Oh, what a waste of time. It appears the spirit of these peasants has been extinguished once and for all. Well, okay, to the interback. Do I have to then make this out? Ha! I have contact! <laughs> what did she say? Shh! Do you need help taking that? No! Silent. The report isn't difficult. I can memorize it. Okay. Let's see if we can take his hammer. Take your paws off. Nope. Maybe I have to go around the clearing. I'm too far away. Hmm. Nuri, tell the mage something else. When he asks how many attackers there were, tell him... Okay, so apparently we have to get this part right. Let's try... Let's go this way, I guess. So we already tried countless. Let's try 11 to 15. 11 to 15. If he wants a description of the mage, tell him... Let's try the crocus colored brooch. That seems really specific. He wore a crocus colored brooch on his left breast. Tell him the attack came from. Um. We don't want to tell him from the, from the tent. Because then that would mean that Fahi would be the culprit. Let's try the northeast. It came from the northeast, and the attackers fled.
I don't know. You couldn't tell. Can you remember all that? Only just. Hmm. The statement has changed. Notes? No, the report isn't difficult. I can memorize it. Okay, so... Nuri, tell the mage something else. It seems like maybe we need to... When he asks how many attackers there were, tell him... Okay, so we need to give him all sorts of information, basically, so that he has to write it down, because... So 11 to 15 is good, because that's a lot to remember. 11 to 15. If he wants a description of the mage, tell him... And then the crocus color brooch, because a black cloak, monkey, and too foggy. He doesn't have to remember that. Black cloak is too basic. So crocus colored brooch, because that actually has a color he has to remember. He wore a crocus colored brooch on his left breast. Tell him the attack came from... And then we'll say from the northeast, because that's still more than just the forest, the tent, or from behind. Those are pretty easy to remember. It came from the northeast, and the attackers fled. And then we'll say the northwest, because then he'll want to make sure that he doesn't get those two confused, the northeast and the northwest. To the northwest. Can you remember all that? What was he wearing again? A crocus-colored brooch on his left breast. Then let's go. Thanks, Nuri. You're a big help. Oh, yet another new story. They came from the north west and then went where? Ida, what are you? I can't remember all this by myself. Okay, and that seemed to work. That'll keep them busy for a while. So let's go back around the clearing so we can get inside the tent. Um, we well, need to. We can't just walk over the barrier. So all it, she said it was a rope. So let's try and cut the barrier. All right, now we're in. Let's see if we can look at the chest. It's standing in the exact same place as yesterday. Only the petrified people were at it since then. There's a lock on it. Okay, so we can't get in there, so I guess it's just time to go into the tent. Alright, let's see, there's some stuff, a lot, quite a bit of stuff here, so let's, let's look at the pillow. Yet more pillows. Nothing here. Huh, okay. A small box with strange symbols on it. Yeah. Whatever's in there, it smells awful. All right. Anything? There's a cushion that I sat Hard on. to believe that I sat here only last night. The tent looks totally different during the day. A rug on top of a second rug. What a show-off. Okay. I wonder if we're supposed to, like, make it look like the place was ransacked, because of how he's positioning everything. It looks like everything was just moved all over the place, so... Pillows as big as sacks. The merchant must think he's an emperor. Okay, let's take a look at these exotic cucumbers. Are those cucumbers? Not from around here, at any rate. 
They smell funny. Somehow... Oh, my head. My fix. What is this stuff? <laughs> I don't know. Alright, the small box. Somebody painted a red and a white camel on the lid. Perhaps it's some kind of card game. Possibly. Oop, a key. A key? A key? That's enough, Bryder. We have a statement. Have you thoroughly searched the crime scene? Yeah, nothing there. If there's anything else, it must be in the tent. I'll just finish writing this up. Uh-oh. Um... There's a strange coat of arms on the wall. Or is it just a gaudy patterned rug? If only there were a door here. This is where the brat sleeps, if I'm not mistaken. By the time I get up there and the hammock stops swinging, they'll be onto me. She'll spot me at once in that corner. Hmm, that's not a good hiding place. Hmm. We can't just leave. I can't exit here. I'd stumble directly into the Major's arms. As if I could hide under that. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> this big lump on the floor. Um... I guess the bed is the only place I can hide. Nothing here. If she's really about to search the entire tent, she'll easily find me there. It can't be helped. I have to get out of here. Can I, like, cut down the wall hanging? Aha! There we go. Come on, close, quickly! Made it. And don't disturb the crime scene. I'll hear every sound. That was close. Huh? There's another one here. Apparently the majors haven't even found him yet. Prius be with me. That's the mask from the burial chamber. What else has that merchant fellow been keeping from me? I don't know. That's the mask from the burial chamber. What else has that merchant fellow been keeping from me? Hmm. He's got the mask firmly clutched in his hand. I need to use rougher measures if I want to get it loose. Yeah, but... Hard to believe that Fahi managed to load all his belongings on there. Yeah, with how big the tent is, that is kind of true. There's a wedge right there. Uh, I think I'm going to end the episode right here. Next time, we will see how to get this mask out of this guy's hand. So, I will see you guys next time on Memoria. Until then.